In this video, I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to create some awesome looking channel art for your YouTube page. Um, up here at the top, I just want to show you the hardest thing I found when I started creating my channel art was keeping all my images contained in here and so that it would flow well between a desktop and a cell phone because, you know, the different dimensions sometimes they'll make your images just look jacked up. So, the best way I found to maintain this is go up here to this edit button, edit channel art. And then down here you can how to create channel art click that and youtube has a template here i like using um, it's right here just click this channel art template and save this to your desktop i've already done this so i'm going to skip this step the next thing we're going to do is go up to a website called PicMonkey. it's www.picmonkey and if you haven't used this site before it is really great it's free um, it's an awesome way to edit your photos. Um, they have a paid subscription too that offers more features, but the freebie is awesome. So to find our channel art, we're going to go up to the edit button. We'll click this and we'll, my, by default, mine it says image files only. We'll need to change this to all files. We'll look for that template, channel art template, double click it. And as you can see here, it lays it out. So if you're, you know, wanting to focus on TV, you can use this whole area, uh, desktop max, which is this. But I like keeping all my images within this darkest area. Um, it seems to transition the best. And what I want to do first is create a boundary here with some shapes, because after I create a boundary around all this, I'm going to white all this out so it's easier to work with. So to do this, we'll go over to the um, butterfly, geometric. We'll click this. We'll click this shape here. And what we'll do is just fix this to make a boundary. And this doesn't have to be exact because we are going to delete this when we're done working. Okay, what we'll do is right click on this once you get it the size you want and duplicate the overlay. And now just move it to the bottom. And right click. Duplicate, and we'll create our sides. And it doesn't have to be exact, um, but pretty close. Right click again, duplicate overlay, and there you go. Now the next thing we want to do is erase all this or white it all out. We'll go up to this wand area here, which is for effects. We'll click that and go down to a section called Artsy. There it is. And we'll click the draw button. And by default, it's already set to white, which is great. We'll just make this brush size a little bigger and we'll start whiting everything out. What this does is gives you a blank canvas so you can do anything you want. Okay, from this point, there is so much creativity, it is awesome. Um, you can go over here to, uh, okay, it's asking me to apply that whiteout effect. I click apply. You can go back over here to all these overlays, all these different shapes. You know, you have all kinds of stuff. Um, I just will give you a little note. The ones with like the little crown, those are the pay um, for the pay subscriptions, but there's a lot of freebies over here. So just to give you an idea how this process works, I'll go through the steps I use to create my channel art. The first thing I did in my design process, I began with the text. And as you can see, I started typing the text out and then you'll see words pop up. That's just me pausing the video. I actually typed it all out. And over to the left, you can see that you can change the font style. Um, and like I did right here with the uh, trending text topics. And then to the right in that little palette, you can change the color and the font size. It's a really handy way to keep everything close by. After I did my text, I scrolled down to another overlay, which is this arrow. Uh, I kind of like the way it flowed. It looked like uh, my thoughts, you know, my future thoughts or whatever. And again, I did like post-it cards here and I added text to it. You'll see me typing some text and uh, it'll look like it just popped up in there, Android, but it's, I actually typed it, resized it, colored it. You know, it just took a little time to get that done, so I paused the video. And again, after I got everything in place, I would right click and duplicate the overlay, uh, like we did when we laid those boundaries out at the beginning of this uh, process. And again, I duplicate the overlay with the arrows and rotate them around. And I continue this process through the rest of my uh, 
design. And to finish off my design, I went ahead and added one more overlay. It was a college graduation gown. Now all we have to do is delete our boundaries and save our project. Right, so now the last part, all we have to do is go back to our YouTube page, click the Edit tab, click Edit Channel Art, and go over to your photos and find our newly created image. And we'll select it. And it's asking if I want to adjust the crop, but I don't need to do that. Click Select. And that's it, guys. There's our newly created image. I hope you all found this useful, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.